Hey everyone, Jacob here. Today's date is Sunday, October 1st, 2023. I'm at the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad in Cumberland, Maryland. Um, right behind me is the train station where the, where the people get on the train to ride it. And today um, I'm gonna ride it myself. I was here four years ago in 2019 and now I'm back. So let's check out what's here before the train comes. All right, so straight ahead is uh, where the train station is. If you can see those row of hoppers, let me zoom in. Right where those row of hoppers are is where the train station is. And then this, this stretch of track right here, as you can see, um, hold on, sorry. As you can see, uh, it goes all the way down there. And down there is where CSX's uh, rail yard is. I don't remember the name, but that's where uh, the Western Maryland connects with CSX trackage. And then this bridge right in front of us is, is goes to uh, the locomotive shop. Right behind these signs here, somewhere in the woods, or not the woods, but behind the houses, that's where the locomotives are maintained for the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad. All right, everybody, the train is coming. Here it comes. Five fifty I'll take one of these. That's one. I'm up on the top of the caboose. I'm in the cupola. Okay, everyone, I'm getting on. Got my ticket. I'm in the open air car. I know. All right, guys, we're moving. 
we're, we're taking off now. The train's moving. All right, we're moving. We're moving, everybody. CSX is over on that side. Western Maryland is right here. Yep, there's the track right above the cars right there. There's a CSX train right there. It's intermodal containers. It's 11.43 p.m. Ladies and gentlemen, we are now approaching the area on the route known as Eckhart Junction. Eckhart Junction is where all six railroads converge on the narrows. The Western Maryland, the Georgia Creek and Cumberland, Pennsylvania Railroad, and Cumberland and Western Fort Electric Railway shared this side of the canyon, while the other side was shared by the Baltimore and Ohio Railroad and the Cumberland and Pennsylvania Railroad. Bike trails on this side now, if you probably saw, hopefully. We're about to cross over a bridge. Here it is. Right where I'm right where I'm filming in front of you, there used to be another track there. This used to be a dual track. We're going over a trestle bridge. between the train cars here. shot right there. beautiful landscape down there. We're 
coming up on Helmsetter's Curve. Center's curve. As well as the Amish coming in and raising a new horn in one. There it is. constructed by building a truffle across nationality and then burying the truffle in thousands of tons of dirt and rock that were being excavated from the top ten tunnels being built at the same time. Sorry about that. Here we are, we're coming up on the tunnel. All right, we're going in the tunnel, here it is. Um, right on my on my right side here, I, on the hillside before trees got in the way, I saw some wind turbines on on one of the mountains. And from what I heard when I was last here four years ago, that the border of Pennsylvania, the, the Commonwealth of the state or the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, is over there, not that far. I don't know how far away it is, but I know it's over there somewhere. I just want to let you know because that was like a fun. Here are the wind turbines I was talking about. The state borderline of PA is over there somewhere. Take a look at this. Uh, 
Alright, if this just doesn't deserve a 5 star rating, I don't know what does. Because look how beautiful this is. Not the wind turbines, like the landscape. Look at the farms, look at the trees. It's beautiful. And there it is, everyone. The small village of Mount Savage, Maryland. Something that I found out about Mount Savage is that it was the place where the first iron rail was made here in the U.S. All rails made prior to 1844 were imported from England. So that's something I found out and it's very interesting. Alright everyone, so I've, we've arrived in Frostburg and we're gonna watch the locomotive turn around on the turntable. The ditch lights are on. I don't know how well you can see it, but the locomotive is moving off the turntable and is going to couple to the front of the train. There's the bell. Alright. Alright, hey everyone, I'm in the gift shop at the uh, train station here in Frostburg and um, they got some pretty nice stuff here. Check it out. Right here we got some stuff I used to play with as a kid. We got this little train here, this little 440. Got 440 here with a strange freight car. Uh, we got 460. And then this one is a big one, I think. Hold on. Yeah, it has a 440 and two strange freight cars. I remember playing with those as a kid. And these two. Look at this. Alright everyone, it's 2.21 a.m. or p.m. sorry, it's 2.21 p.m. and we're about to board the train now. Uh, the train leaves at 2.30 p.m. so we're going to get on right now and enjoy the ride back, so I'll see you then. Well, we're moving again guys, after about a 10 minute delay or so, we're back on, we're back in, on track again. No pun intended. So we'll be back in Cumberland in about an hour and a half. We're traveling over the bridge again. Ladies and gentlemen, we are almost back where we started here in Cumberland. We hope you enjoyed your trip today. I would like to remind you all that we here at the Western Maryland Scenic Railroad are a non-profit organization. We rely on donations, gift shop sales, and ticket sales to keep the magic of rail. Well, we made it back to Cumberland and we're back and we're arriving at the train station now. There's the church up there. Alright everyone, that's going to be it for today's video. Um, 
I just got off the train a couple minutes ago and I'm heading home now. So if you did enjoy the video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Over and out.